you know, I didn't know what we'd do. And I thought we started out like, I hope not to, but I thought that's the way it was. And uh, I give us a lot of credit that we fought back and cut it to four. And, um, you know, after shooting terrible and uh, turning the ball over so much, uh, if I told you what the keys to the game were, that was one not giving up any missed free throws. They only got 11 and they didn't miss many. Um, but offensively, you know, Josh had some great looks. He was one for eight. Uh, Malik had some great looks. He was one for six. And, uh, you know, we just, uh, they did a good job defensively. We did a, a poor job, but you have 33 points off turnovers. That's, that's a big part of the game. You have 21 turnovers and even coming out of halftime, we first three possessions were turnover, turnover, turnover. So we didn't do a very good job, and that falls on me. Our first question comes from Chris Solari. Um, that was actually the, the thing that I was going to ask you about, those two five-minute stretches that start to have. Um, just kind of sloppy. I mean, is that – is that rust from not having game competition and, and kind of maybe the, the body forgetting what you need to do certain times? No, I don't think so. I, I, th I thought Aaron in a couple of huddles said, said it best. He said, you know, there's no excuse for the turnovers. There's no excuse. I mean, our defense wasn't great, but it probably wasn't bad when you think about they only scored 67 points with 100 turnovers. Um, and that, there's no excuse to just dribble it in and pass it to a guy. And um, I thought they brought a little more energy. I, I thought we had one of our best shoot arounds today. I thought we had a good practice yesterday. I'm, I'm sure we have a little COVID uh, hangover. I, you know, I understand that, uh, but uh, that, that will not uh, be an excuse for the way we played. Uh, you know, that would be a good excuse for losing a game, but not the way we play. As a follow, how, how do you approach this game moving ahead? I mean, do you kind of bury it? Do you focus in on it, harp on it? I, I mean, it, you want me to give you a Mike Krzyzewski answer on a question like that? I mean, I haven't even looked at the film yet, yeah. so I won't do that. I uh, I really don't care about the next game. I, 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 I To be perfectly honest with you, all I want to do is get back uh, to the hotel and um, take a look at the film and figure out were the turnovers as ridiculous as I thought, or were the was the defense better than I thought? Um, but we we did not have the energy. I, I thought we had more energy in practice yesterday, which was only our second practice, third practice, uh, with the up and down than we had tonight. And uh, you know, so frustration sets in, and then you start making even worse plays. But uh, you know, I'm not, I'll worry about the next game tomorrow. I'm going to worry about this game and see if I can uh, figure out why uh, my key guys, I mean, I think Aaron had six and uh, Rocket had three and I think Foster had three. And I think, uh, I don't know, I think my four guards between them had 15 or 16 turnovers. And I can't give all the credit to, uh, to Rutgers, but I can give them, more than their share of credit because they played awfully well. First time ever, they went nine for 11 from the free throw line. Um, they played well, we played poorly. Up next, Matt Charbonneau. Um, I feel like there's a lot of things we can look at and try and dissect and everything here and wonder why it happened. But uh, the shooting specifically, a lot of a lot of good open looks yeah. at times tonight. It, yep. I mean, it might be simple to say that's because you haven't had a lot of time on in the gym but um is it is it hard to kind of pinpoint why so many of those open looks you just just weren't making shots well i swear to you matt i mean that's the best question i've had because i'm i'm, I'm the two things that i i really felt like we weren't great defensively but we weren't bad i mean they shot 43 and <laughs> 43 and 26 I mean, considering all the layups they got off turnovers, that's probably not bad. Um, you know, Josh, you know, I probably played him too many minutes. That that was my fault. I didn't know if I could play him at all. And he felt, 
not very good two days ago, but yesterday he felt a lot better. And he was okay during the game as far as his wind and everything. But, uh, you know, I, I can see where he missed some. But we had some other guys that just missed some wide open shots. You're right, especially the start of the second half. You hit a couple of those and it changes the game. But we didn't. And then the game got away from us. And, uh, and that's probably my fault, to be honest with you. Up next, Lindsey Huddleston. Hey, Tom, a uh, tough outing for sure. I'm sure every coach in America wants to know at the 16-41 mark, what did you say to your team when they were down 0-10 to 10 that ended up allowing you to have a salvageable first half when it was all said and done? Uh, like a true positive question. I appreciate that. You know, I, I told them that. We we just got to get it one, one play at a time because – we were trying to get it back too fast. We were just playing a little bit out of control and and we weren't moving the ball from side to side. And we talked about it all week. I mean, Aaron went over it before the game and even after the game said the same thing. You know, we talked about it all week that we got to move the ball because we didn't think they were as good defensively. They give up 45%. And, uh, but we just didn't move it. We got a one-on-one. -on -one. Um, we didn't throw back. We didn't do the things that I thought we could do. Is it because some of those guys hadn't practiced at all? Uh, is it because uh, we just did a poor job, or is it because you know Rutgers played well and and Rutgers deserves some credit? Steve's a great coach, and they did a good job. So I, I just told them, hey, we get it back. One, you know, we had missed a couple layups. Um, uh, Thomas Kithier missed the layup. Uh, I think it was. Uh, Rocket missed a wide open shot and somebody else did. And I said, we're getting good enough shots. And then I thought we went into a stretch where we did move the ball better and got some shots. And we started making some, got our break going. Second half, we just reverted back to one-on-one -on -one play. And I think they took us out of the game and give them credit for that. Well, thank you. Up next, Bob Wojnowski. Hey there, Tom. How you doing, Bob? Good, thanks. Um, You've had teams before and stretches before in the middle of a season that things have gone awry a little bit and you've pulled it together always. Um, but this is a unique season, obviously a unique situation. How, how difficult will this one be to pull together and, and, and are you confident you can do it? You know, I, I, I said last week when I kind of went off on everybody, cause I don't think anybody realizes how hard it is during this pandemic, but, I thought it was pretty apropos as we got on the bus today after our testing and a couple guys came out and said, first time I ever saw it, they said, I'm not positive. And it makes me wonder, you know, how much that's on some of their mind. But, but like I said, uh, with Gabe out, with, with Josh out, with, uh, with guys not being able to practice with eight guys, it's, uh, I just don't know, Bob, if that was the reason. That's why I said I want to look at the film. So I thought we did a lot of poor things, but turn the ball over and get 33 points off turnovers. Um, you know, that's fixable because we won't do that again. So you're right. I've been here before. That's the nice thing about a long career. You've kind of gone through a lot of different phases. And uh, but we got to get some guys playing a little better. Hauser's got to play better. Uh, you know, Josh, we got to get him back healthy and and uh you know i thought rocket he played he had such a good couple days of practice um i thought he was going to play his best game when i watched him in warm-ups today but it just uh and they got after him too i mean they got after aaron they got after him aaron's been uh he's been great to be honest with you guys he's been uh he's taken blame he's taken everything and uh you know, he was pretty bummed out after the game, but, uh, you know, they're handling it well. I just, uh, you know, the freshman point guard, we're not very solid there yet. Uh, we've got to keep working to get better at that. And when you don't get to practice, you don't get better. And so for 20 days, we didn't get there. 16 days, we didn't get to do anything that would go up and down or give a guy a chance to read the defense or that. And, Sure, that hurt us some, but that's still not a reason you don't, that you turn the ball over like we did. I just, that has nothing to do with that in my mind. Thanks. Mm -hmm. 
All right, we have two more questions. We'll start with Brendan Quinn. Tom, you mentioned earlier uh, frustration sets in and you start making worse plays. I, I'm sorry, I, I couldn't hear you. You said earlier when frustration sets in and then you start making worse plays. And that, that does seem that has kind of been a thing that has happened in games like this, right? Where things just kind of compound. And I wonder with this group, um, what's kind of the dynamic of, I don't know, you know enforcing positive thinking at this point. I'm just trying to, you know, not let nothing, not, not let things snowball. Um, yeah, that's a good point, you know, and, and uh, you know, I think one of them, you know, Joey not playing a year and Josh not playing for two years. And, you know, there's, there's just things that get frustrated. I mean, Josh has spent so much time trying to come back and, uh, I think he thought tonight because he had a good day of practice yesterday, everything was going to be the norm and he could do what he could do. And that's just not the way it works. It wasn't his lack of effort. That's for sure. It was just lack of reps, you know, and, and he's missed two years of it. So that's a little frustrating. And then what are, you know, kind of somebody at the point to settle that down. I mean, you know, we'll get there. I, I do think that we'll play better as we get back practicing a little bit. Although there's not a lot of days to practice, especially the way the schedule is now going to be. But uh, we won't play like this again uh, as far as turning the ball over, I promise you that. So, you know, those are the frustrating things that uh, frustrate fans, frustrate coaches, frustrate players. But I'm trying to keep it all into perspective a little bit. And this was a wicked 20 days. Um, some people adjust to it. Just depends who your personnel is. But not being able to get you know, those young guards um, involved, and especially like Josh, he's not a young guard, but he's a guard that hasn't played for two years. So all of them are young and experienced as far as what's happened. And I think we showed that tonight. I mean, we just did not play very well at that position, uh, any of the guard positions. And that's why you have those turnovers. We'll go to Stephen Brooks and then wrap up with Chris Solari. Hey, Tom, you mentioned uh, this week that, that Marcus had shown you some things in these last couple of weeks. Just curious of your evaluation of him tonight. Marcus, first half, was our best player. Um, you know, he did some things that he needed to do, and uh, he's been just great. I mean, I don't know if it was the haircut or what. I, I joked with him, but he's, he's really, uh, you know, starting to do some things well. And, uh, um, you know, I think that was encouraging. He didn't play quite as good the second half. I thought uh, Malik Hall played really good the first half and and struggled a little bit the second half. I could see everybody's kind of, you know, go down a little bit, and uh, that's pretty normal. But I don't know if it's as normal as it should be because our leadership had to pick up then, and that includes me too, by the way. So, uh, yeah, frustrating night for everybody disappointing night and yet I don't know what I expected I told you guys I don't know what I would expect of the team now I know what uh, you know how we played and now my job is to correct it and we'll get it corrected uh, Bob's right it'll it'll happen we're going to get it corrected we're going to have to find guys that uh, are just going to move the ball a little better on offense that's what we got to really do a better job of thank you Chris that that actually goes into what I was going to ask you. How much did you um, need this as a baseline for these guys coming off that layoff to see how to push them with a couple games ahead? And also, without having Dane down the bench, you know, how did you guys work that situation? Were you kind of running the guards more? Yeah. Yeah, you know, I, I don't think that. I mean, no coach turns the ball over. Um, not me or them. I mean, you know, players have to be accountable for what they do. Coaches have to be accountable for what they do. But I, I think uh, baseline, God, I just don't know if you, you know, it, missing the shots, I have a baseline. That, that, I think that was okay. You know, I, I understand that. Um, not rebounding the ball, that has nothing to do with anything. Uh, not cutting out, guys are taking shots, ball's bouncing back to them. I mean, maybe that's not playing for a while, but that's an instinct that a player should have. And, and I was disappointed in that, but just, just the passing and, and and turnovers and maybe as I talk to more coaches maybe uh, maybe I got to be more understanding on that maybe that is part of it uh, there's not many people that go 20 days but at the same time nobody's gonna feel sorry for you 
and uh, I'm sure not, and don't expect anybody out there to. So we just got to get back, watch the film, try to figure out, and then we'll get the game plan going for our next game. But it's going to be to play a lot harder. It's going to be able to play a lot smarter. It's going to be taking care of the ball. And uh, those will be big keys. I mean, the offense, I, I loved what Aaron said in the huddle about nine times, you know, okay, we're not playing very well on the offensive end, but, you know, it, it really was the defensive end or the rebounding. Um, they only had, I don't know how many offensive rebounds they ended up with 13, but they scored on a lot. They scored on a lot of offensive rebounds and they scored on a lot of turnovers and that's easy ways to score. Um, so, you know, it, it really wasn't the defense as much as it wasn't finishing the job. And then at late, you know, they started making threes and hit a few of those and give them credit. I mean, like I said, I think Steve's one of the better coaches in this league and he did a good job with his team. He's benched a couple guys. He's moved a couple guys around and I think he got their attention. And, uh, you know, it wasn't that long ago. This was a top 10 or 15 team in the country. So um, not a surprise that they played well. They had a lot on the line too, coming off a big win on the road. A uh, little disappointing that we did not execute the things that I thought were keys that I think we could have. Bad shot or missing shots. Uh, there weren't even a lot of bad shots. Missing shots. Yeah, I can I can stomach that. I just can't stomach some of the other things. So that's what we'll try to fix.